Hey guys, it's Taylor, and I'm in a different location today. I'm actually in front of my window because where I originally filmed was like at this desk, but it's been kind of cluttered in my room, and the lighting in my room is terrible. If you guys have watched my channel before, you've probably heard me say that before. But today I wanted to film a haul video, as you can tell from the title, but I wanted to do a little disclaimer beforehand. The stuff I got today, I am that I'm going to be showing you guys is a little on the pricey end and for me it's a big like step I guess because if you know me personally or if you just know me um, I do not send money at all I'm a huge saver I have not bought anything for myself like extravagant or anything besides like what I really need in like the past two years um, and for the exception of when I went to Disneyland like I paid for my own Disneyland stuff I paid for the sweatshirt I bought that was overpriced and I paid for that but like, for the most part I don't spend money on myself just because like I have a problem spending money, like, I'm afraid I'll need it, and, like, that I'll, like, whatever, so, like, I know that's a good thing to do, but at the same time, it's, like, today was a big step, so I bought some stuff that I'm very excited to have, but I'm very thankful to have, and I worked really hard to buy, so I don't want you guys to think I'm just bragging about it, because I did work really hard, I work my job, my job, and I use my money myself to buy some of this, however, my mom did buy some of it for my birthday, so she did help me out, and it was okay, but I just want to show you guys what I bought, and yeah, I'm excited to show it to you, and I hope you keep watching, and yes, let's get into it. The first place I went was Charming Charlie's, and I think this is a store that's everywhere, I really don't know, but it just kind of is like a store that's organized, like color-coded wise, I did not say that right, the store is organized in like pods that are color-coded, so like this whole like side of the store is all like green, and then blue, and then red, and then yellow, brown, black, white, pink, whatever, so I got a lot of different things there, I'm going to start off it's just basic jewelry. The first thing I got, I'm just going to pick it up and kind of go. It is this necklace, and let me see if I can show it up. It's a gold, I really like gold jewelry. I'm not a huge silver fan, but it's just gold, and it has a, like, tealish flower print with white on it, and then there's, like, little gold accents. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see. Let me see if I can hold it up. Eek. Maybe. Maybe. If you can see that there hopefully it's focusing if not that's awkward but it's just super super pretty and like we'll go with everything and also s disclaimer I don't never owned any jewelry like I wear these studded earrings and like I have a few other pieces of like a few bracelets not even a few like two bracelets and like one ring and that's about it so I definitely needed this jewelry especially for college coming up and everything so that's just this simple little necklace the next thing I got was just this plain simple ring here's the ring and it is just this gold with like a silver band on it. I know you can't see it that well. But Sorry if that just changed my zoomed in zone. I had to unfocus it so you could see the ring. And then I got this blue uh, necklace and it is gold again. Gold with blue in it. The next thing I got is just this super simple little gold necklace also and it just has these cute little beads on them with four black little dots. And this is on the clearance rack. It's only $4.00. And it was just was super simple and just something I could wear with like any other like plain t-shirt if I wanted to dress it up a little bit. And so I just thought it was super simple to pick out and it would go with anything. So it was a good pick to have. The final piece of jewelry I picked up was just this really, really simple gold bar necklace. So it just has like a simple gold bar here and then just a simple chain right there. Pretty basic, but it just will again go with anything and I can wear it with a dress, I can wear it with a t-shirt. It'll just be a nice staple to have in my wardrobe. I think I might have said that I got, that was all my jewelry, but I lied. I do have one more piece of jewelry. It's just this, like, gold bangle with a um, salmon-colored bar with these, like, dots down it. I'm really bad at describing things, as you can tell. But it's just super simple that I really liked. And I'm not, a, again, a huge, I'm not a huge jewelry person, and I, but I wanted, like, stackable bandle, bangles. However, any, all the ones I tried on were super heavy or, like, super clunky, and I didn't really want that. I thought this would be a really good option because it's simple, but it still adds a little bit of pizzazz to an outfit. I can't believe I just said the word pizzazz, but, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna go with it. And then the last thing I got from Charming Charlie's was just these simple little white and gold accented sunglasses, and I do not know the style of them, but they were only $9, and I really like them. I only have one other pair of sunglasses, and they're really old, and they just don't really, they're not very comfortable anymore, so I just got these because they're only $9, and they're just super cute and fun, and they just look really great. And it's a fun time. Okay, so the next store I went to, sorry my hair is all crazy. I was walking around in the outlet mall, so it's all hot and gross because it's 100 degrees in Missouri. Woo. But I went to Sephora, 
and I love Sephora. However, I've never really committed to buying anything there because it's so expensive. And like, I'm, I like makeup, but I'm not super into makeup. And so I feel like I don't know exactly what to buy for me. However, I did some research. And the one thing I have been rebuying and that I do completely love and would totally recommend is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And this is just the original formula. I was This is the travel size, too, because the original size is like $24. And it's not that much bigger than the travel size for $12. So I was like, you know what, I'll just buy the travel size for now. It lasts forever for me, and I like it. And I just see that I wear this whenever I wear eyeshadow, and it just lets the color pop a lot more in my eyes, and it lasts, the shadow lasts a lot longer. I have hooded eyes, and so you can't really see all my shadow anyway, but because of my hooded eyes, they are creased a lot. And this helps hold it a lot longer than any other primer I've ever tried, ever used. This is my number one forever and always when it comes to eyeshadow primer. And then the final thing that I bought from Sephora there's only two things I got, and this was like, my mom had to convince me for like 10 minutes that it was okay to buy, and I had a gift card, so I bought it anyway, because I was like, you know what, someone gave me a Visa gift card, I might as well use it, and it is the Jaclyn Hill Becca Champagne Collection Face Palette, hopefully I'm saying that right, it's in this like, beautiful gold packaging that I ripped up, sorry Jaclyn, um, but let's just take a minute to admire how beautiful this palette is, I'm going to try to hope it focuses. So there, so there are five different colors in this palette, and I'm going to read it off the back because I do not know. There is Rose Spritz, Rose Spritz, Amaretto, Papple Mousse, Champagne Pop, and Proschetto Pop. I butchered those names. But they're just these super good, like, pretty shimmery colors, as you could tell. And they, sorry if you just got blinded. Uh, I just love how shimmery they are, and like, I applied them and swatched them on my hand, and they just work super well and they blend super well and so I'm excited to have that because the only other like highlighter and blush I've ever had is like this old 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 cover girl stuff that has like it's not great it doesn't work that well but this totally does and I'm so excited that I was able to purchase it and I'm very happy and excited to use it and just to re-mention it that was a very big splurge item I would never just go pick it up on like the go like oh you know it's my day to day shopping I'm gonna go pick up the Jaclyn Hill uh, highlighter palette. It was like a very thought out decision that I was like, you know what, I can invest in it. I have a gift card to pay for it and I'm very thankful that I could get it. So that's awesome. Next I'm going to talk about Vera Bradley and I've been a huge fan of Vera Bradley since forever basically. I love their stuff and I finally got a few different things from there. We're going to talk about the biggest thing first and that is the Vera Bradley Weekender bag, I think is what it's called. The large, oh, large duffel bag, and it's in the Catalina Pink shade, and it's Vera Bradley's foundation for bre breast cancer. So, it's this, I wish I could show you guys how big it is, so you can get an idea, but it's just this beautiful, like, pink shaded bag. Hopefully that you get an idea, and it has these two straps, and there's a pocket on the side, and then one large compartment in the middle which I can't really describe to you, but I'll link it down below if you want to go look at it online yourself. Uh, it's just a super awesome big like, duffel bag, which I needed because I wanted a weekend bag for if I ever came home from school or if I went somewhere on the weekend with like friends at school. I want to just be able to grab something like this and go. And so this is allowing me to do so, which is cool. And it's very large. And I love the print. And I think it'll be really helpful and will come in handy for any little day trips I take, any like weekend trips, like I said, or any just like little adventures I go on where I need something that's like bigger than a backpack but smaller than a suitcase. The next thing I got was the Catalina Pink Zip Around ID case, like I think I mentioned before. And I just got this because a lot of, I've heard that a lot of college kids use it. What they do is they put their ID in this little pocket here, along with like just like cash, your debit card, and your regular ID in here and then you just carry it around on this lanyard which I also picked up and it's just a plain blue lanyard but I've heard that's what you do just so if you don't want to carry around your huge purse or anything you can just bring this and that's all you everything you need is right here and then the last place I went was Kate Spade and let me tell you my ride with Kate Spade has been an interesting one I was not a huge fan of Kate Spade for a long time while I was in high school just because like everyone had it and I just didn't understand the obsession with it. Like, they just had these huge big bags, and I was like, what do I have that much to carry? Nothing. But, like, as I started looking on their products more, I was like, okay, like, I kind of like it, but I also didn't want to splurge because I don't spend money on myself. 
I've been using the same bag. Like, I had this bag back when I was, like, in fifth grade, right? It was a nice, like, coach little satchel bag, but I never used it because I was in fifth grade, and I never used it really in middle school. But when I got into high school, I started using it and just, like, stuffing it full. And that's what I've been using for the past, like, four or five years. And then... I went on Kate Spade yesterday and I saw that they were having a huge sale at the Outlet Mall and I was like, you know what, we're going to the Outlet Malls anyway, might as well look. So what I got, I did buy a purse and I did buy a wallet, which is a long story too because I've had the same wallet since middle school. So it was due time and you know what, my mom had to sit and convince me. We went into Kate Spade two times because the first time I was like, no, I'm not buying it. The second time, like, we walked around the whole mall and I was like, you know what, you can do it. Just go in, buy yourself something because you deserve it. I was like... Thanks, Mom. So, I'm going to show you guys what I got. I don't know the names of everything because I'm not that obsessed with Kate Spade. The first thing I got is this bag. I'm going to put this bag down. And it is the Kate Spade Hannah Wesley in Pebble in Black. If I can find it online, I'll link it down below for you all. Uh, it's just like this little handbag with a... It's a crossbody bag, I guess. So it's just a crossbody there. And yes... I absolutely adore it. It's a two-toned, as you can tell, the like creamish color and the black color. And I really like that it's two-toned just because it adds a little bit more to the bag. And I really like it has gold hardware too, which again, I really like gold jewelry and stuff and hardware. So it just goes really well. And I was debating between this one and one of the bigger bags that has like the handle here and the crossbody. But I realized after my mom convinced me, I was like, hey... I don't have that much stuff. Like, I intend, I thought I was like, oh, I could have all this stuff I could throw in my purse. But in reality, I just want something simple that I can carry with me that's not too big, but not too small. And this seemed to be like the perfect middle size. So it's just this. And then on the inside, it has a plain little, just like taupey colored inside with one other pocket. And it's just a good size. It's pretty deep. And I think this will just come in really handy in college because it's so neutral and it fits with like anything I want to wear. Like I can dress it up and wear it with like something that's really fancy like a dress. But I could also wear it in just like every day around college with a sweatshirt and jeans or a t-shirt and jeans and Converse. And it will go still perfectly. And I just love it. And I'm really glad I picked this one. There's a two others I was deciding between and I'm just glad I got this. And then I also bought the corresponding wallet. It's a smaller wallet of the two. I know there's like a larger one that I kind of wanted, but my mom was like, hey, you don't have that much, which is true. And this will fit easier inside the wallet. So it's just the normal, I'll get the normal, uh, the matching two-toned cream and black wallet. So there's a few different compartments. This is like the main one where your ID goes, your cards and cash and whatnot. And then there's also like a coin purse thing, I presume, which is just like right here. And then there's also one other pocket right here on the outside. And so it's just like a little simple wallet that I can use. And I'm really excited that I got this one. And I don't know. I just am proud of myself for convincing myself to buy it. Because if you know me, like I said earlier, I do not buy things that are like higher end or like that. Because I don't feel like I deserve it. And I'm just proud of myself that I was able to spend my money on something and be happy with my purchase. So that's what I got from Kate Spade. So that is all for my haul video. Sorry, it kind of was choppy and took a little bit, and I'm sorry if I repeated anything. I'm sure I did at some point, because you know, sometimes when you're filming, you don't realize what you're saying, and then you realize you said it 18 times while you're editing, and you're trying to fix it, but then it sounds weird. It's a whole big mess. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know why I'm talking with my hands. But I really do hope you guys enjoyed it, and you enjoyed seeing everything I got. Uh, once I start using my purse and once I start using my weekender bag or duffel bag or whatever you want to call it, if you guys want me to film like what's in my purse, what's in my bag, I'll be sure to do that for you guys and just let me know if you do. If you have any other video suggestions, be sure to let me know. So thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Taylor. Bye.